probably got gum in too. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of heat about that. Do you know where you're at? Yep. Hello, my sparkle chicks. Who's my first watcher? I got a somebody on here. Oh, I got people. It's a little slow in the go. Brenda Castellani, you're my first watcher. Send me your address. I'm gonna send you some sparkly happy mail. What's up, Amy and Kathy? So anyway, we're in the car. We just had dinner and we are going to see Top Gun movie. And Mike says, why don't you go live? Let's do a little Q&A. I didn't say q Yes, you did. I didn't say q and I said q and He said, let's go live. Anyway, so we're here. We're driving. I hope you guys had a good weekend. <laughs> What's up, Michelle? Hi, Donna. Hey, Peggy. So anyway, there's Big Daddy. A anyway, we are driving to watch the new Top Gun. How many of you guys have seen it? What's up, Dewana? Hi, Lynn. I got my Top Gun shirt on. Look at it. It says, talk to me, Goose. Talk to me, Goose. In honor of going to see the new Top Gun movie. I'm a little tired. I'm not going to lie. Little tired. Uh, too much to drink last night I had a wedding. little too much to drink at the wedding last night. I was hurting a little bit today. I did a whole lot of nothing today. Anyway, so, oh, we got... <laughs> What's up, Lisa? Hi, Teresa. So anyway, we figured we'd do a Q&A. So I get tons of questions about me and Mike. So I figured what better time while we're in the car than to ask away. Hey, Rhonda. She said we're going to love the movie. That's good. What's up, Karen? So you guys start. I will, you guys ask questions and I will, um, I will, oh, we're already here. Look at how fast this was. Hey, Sue, what's going on? Doesn't he look so handsome? I was like total vegan today. Guys, it's an excellent movie, says Cindy. I'm excited. I wish you guys could see where we're at. So we're at this place. I'm going to flip you guys around. We are at a place called Pinecrest. Look at how pretty this is. Whole Foods. Heard it's a really good flick. I heard it's good too, Cheryl. So this is Pinecrest. It's like a little outdoor... Um, I don't know, village? Shopping village. Shopping village. Um, hey, Beverly. So they got all kinds of little boutiques here. Catherine Morgan said Top Gun is great. Kathy said it was amazing. So we're going to kind of walk around here for a little bit. Shelly said it was took 30 years to make, but it was well worth the wait. So here as we get into like the heart of this little downtown area. This is called Pinecrest. But look at how, uh, Barbara wants to know how long we have been married. Look how pretty this is. So we're going to the Silver Urban Outfitters. Michael, how long have we been married? Three years. Been together oh. five. He knew. And we have, it's only been five years. So we have, we celebrated our third year anniversary on March, May 26th. May 26. Um, Lorraine says, what's the best quality for you with Big Daddy? And what does Big Daddy think the best quality about you? Mm. Um, his person, his sense of humor is what attracted me to most about him because he's, he makes me laugh every single day. What's my best quality, babe? Oh, there's so many. Um, hmm. He takes too long. You're so <laughs> considerate. I'm considerate. I'm a considerate. Like today, I just mentioned, or yesterday, I mentioned I needed a new pair of reading glasses, and you already had them for me today. I did. I bought them for him today. Um, thank you. Um, oh, Sue, I, I know I saw that today, Sue. I hope you feel better. What attracted him most to you? says Belinda McKenzie. My jeans. What attracted him most to me? Yeah, my jeans. No, that's to me to you. What attracted you most to me? Oh, to you? Yeah. Uh, well, I like 
you know, blonde hair and blue eyes. He likes blonde hair, blue eyed women. And he saw me and that was it. Um, how did Michael propose to me? Joanna, he proposed to me at Epic. Epic, Epic 4th of July. If you guys go back on my page Epic. and look. Epic. We have an annual 4th of July party and he had one of those big freeway signs, you know, that light up with the digital. And he had, he got somebody to give him one and it said, Kathy, will you marry me with fireworks and music? It was amazing. Uh, we met Leslie. Uh, I was working in corporate America at a steel company and he would come in to buy material and I blew him off forever in a day. I did. And, uh, I eventually said, okay, I'll go out with you if you stop asking me. And that was it. I wanted nothing to do with men. So when did you two go on your first real date and to where? We met at the Hooli house well, after work. He brought me soup to work, but then we went to the yeah, Hooli house we for, we had a Corona after work. And then the second date was at a place, a restaurant called Red Wine and Brew true story and that's the first time he kissed me you can't park over here why not because uh, it says curbside pickup right. <laughs> a movie and some shopping yes i'm kind of tired we're ready for bed though we might, these are really comfortable movies we're coming we, up at nine o'clock we might we might be end up asleep to do this whole thing big daddy says tamar when are you racing again i don't know we are waiting for parts it's hard to get parts so we're kind of struggling right now. We missed two races. Uh, Rhonda Kaiser said, Mike, is Kathy Moody? Not at all. Not at all. Easiest person in the world. Oh, he's so sweet. I am a little moody nah. when it's that time of the month. Yes, I am. Nah. Nah. No? Not really. He knows it, though. He knows when it's coming. Not really. Uh, let's see who else. Go up top. Right. Smart man says, Lisa, he knows what to say. He is so sweet to me. He's like the greatest guy. He he knows me and all my my idiosyncrasies. Uh, Janine says, but do they have a goodwill? No, they do not have a goodwill here. Um, let's see. He is a good guy, Shelly. Uh, do you have a sparkly steering wheel? Yes, and she does. Indeed I do. We're here in my car. He is driving, so I know it looks opposite. Looks like I'm driving, but I'm not. But yes, I have a sparkly steering wheel cover right there. Of course I do. My whole car is blinged out. Linda says, where is your seatbelt? The man one. makes me crazy. He never wears one. I wear one. He never does. Um, did it? Janet, no, it did not hurt. Trust me, girlfriend, it did not hurt. You're golden. What? About my eyebrows. Did it hurt? Oh. Your husband likes blondes too, Lorraine. Kathy says, why didn't you want anything to do with him at first? I didn't want anything to do with men. I was, I was with a horrible, toxic relationship. Wanted nothing to do with a man. I was good on my own. I didn't need him. Um, thank you, Tamara. Yesterday, we had so much fun at the wedding. Can I, can I tell you guys, though? I can't hang with Carlina. It's my stepdaughter. And don't give me grief for calling her my stepdaughter, but she is my stepdaughter, and I call her that because she has a mother, and I find it disrespectful if I call her my daughter because she has a mother, and so I don't do that. Um, but you couldn't hang because... I couldn't hang because uh, she I'm hard. old. <laughs> we are old, and I can't party like I was when I was 30. Man. I was hurting. <laughs> Uh, Debbie said, so is Big Daddy a leg or a booby man? Ass man. <laughs> <laughs> you ass, he told. <laughs> He's all about the booty. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Debbie, I love you. <laughs> uh, it was a very romantic proposal. Yes, he played one of our songs and then he, he did the fireworks. And, and then fi I had fireworks that led up to the sign. Uh huh. And then the sign said, here's the thing. Because that was my, I always said to you, here's the thing. Yeah. Every time I would say something, I'd say, here's the thing. So on the, on the sign, it says, here's the thing. And then there was a pause. And will you marry me? Yeah. Kathy, will you Kathy, marry me? I said, yeah. Kat, will you marry me? And then, and he got down on one knee 
and propose. There's pictures. This is before I started going live, but it is on there. Um, Mary says our birthday's on the same day. I'm only 82. <laughs> Good for you, Mary. God bless you. Um, you won't sleep, says Dane. It's so good. Is Big Daddy moody, said Kathy Highstrader. Uh, I can tell. I can read his mood. Yeah. So, like, when he's a little crabby and he comes in the door, I can tell. But immediately I'll go up to him and I go, oh, Big Daddy, you need a hug. And then I hug him and I make him laugh and I'll, you know. Yeah, but you know me to you know when, you know, because i got a lot going on, so. Yeah, so I can read him, and I know when he's crabby and he's needing a little extra love. Or a little extra sta free space. Yeah, like I know when he needs to. If Mike is going into the bedroom and he's sleeping, when Michael gets stressed out, that's what he does. He just wants to sleep, so I get that. Um, Mary, and we are seeing Top Gun Maverick. We're so excited. I haven't got my Top Gun shirt on. The wedding pat was great. I'm feeling a little hurting a little bit today. I drank a little bit too much. I will not lie. Um, Kaiser. Oh, Rhonda says her last name is pronounced Kaiser. I said Kaiser. Kaiser. Sorry, girlfriend. Um, yes, we're going to see Maverick, Kimberly. Um, can you clone him, says Wendy Walker. Do you know how many people ask me if I can clone my husband? Because let me tell you guys. Even your girlfriends. My girlfriends. He is like the greatest husband ever. He's just like, I think it's just because it's us and we just like match. Like we, we're like two peas in a rhinestone studded pair of rock revivals. That's what I always said. We are two peas in a pod. Um, yes. And God definitely put him in my path for a reason. Happy wife, happy life. Michael just said that today to somebody. Happy wife, happy life. Can Big Daddy do some impersonations for us oh, tonight? I'm so tired. Says Michelle Lyons Hall. I'm so tired. I don't know if I can pull something <laughs> off. I mean, I was up late. I don't think I, I don't know if I could do it. We're both like, I'm like, he wanted to go see a movie. So I bought tickets. I'm like, we're going to see a movie at 930. He's like... Okay, I think we'll wake up, though. I'm going to drink some popcorn. I'm going to eat some popcorn. some popcorn. I'm going to eat some popcorn, and I'm going to drink some Coca-Cola. Tamara says 840. Next time I'll do some impersonations. I can't do it. I don't have it in me. We're so tired. We dealt with party stuff today. Do you guys ever argue? Not Never. Really. We bicker. Like, we'll bust each other's butts. But do we ever argue? Nah. No. I mean, we don't. Not really. No. We we kind of have like the perfect marriage. I'm not going to lie. I can't. He's never raised his voice to me. Ever. I've never heard this man scream. Never heard him. He's seen me flip out, but I've never heard him yell. He's never yelled at me. Hey, April Tipton. Was it difficult to blend families? Lynn, that was probably the toughest part of our relationship is when we moved in to his house, me and my two boys, because we're the loud people. They are the silent ninja walkers. They are the most quietest Italian family you will ever meet in your entire life. It they doesn't even, even make any they sense. They even walk loud. We walk loud. We talk loud. We're loud in the morning. We talk. We're quiet in the morning. They're loud all the time. Yeah. So difficult. blending families when all three of his kids were living home, all two of mine. Yeah. Yes. We had some tense moments, but we never, like, argued. We just... Yeah worked through it we talked it out yeah but it was difficult it took about a year lisa says uh, lisa put your big seatbelt on big daddy we do compliment each other do you like tom cruise yes we yeah. both like tom cruise i know <laughs> i don't care for his politics <laughs> we're not gonna get into politics though here <laughs> we're not gonna go here uh so funny um i have the same sparkles too i'm going it is rough. Mine is not so rough. I love her the same I do, Lorraine. I just don't call her my stepdaughter. I call her my stepdaughter because that's what she is. And it's not a slight on her. I just, I feel like she has a mom. And for me to call her my daughter would be rude and disrespectful to her mom. Remember, right. So I don't, I'm a bonus mama, right? But um, Lorraine says big butts. <laughs> he likes big butts. I got a big J-Lo butt. I'm not going to lie. I wish somebody got you on video last night. No, you don't, Rhonda. No, you don't. I have a picture of it, but I can't oh. share it. 
<laughs> no, he absolutely cannot. <laughs> when did I know he was the one? Um, he knew before me, because I was a little jaded from my past. Um, he definitely knew before me, but I want to say I knew fairly early on that he was different. He's a boots man. I am. He makes me blush. He is a nice Italian guy for sure. Do you have a video of the proposal? It's you know, on. I should probably, I think it's on my personal page. If you guys are pers friends with me on my personal profile, it. I should repost it on here because it was, yes. You know what? <clears throat> I should do that because it was just our anniversary. I should totally repost our anniversary or our, that was a good idea. I will do that. Did you say yes right away? Yes, Terry, immediately. Yes, for sure. Um, Big Daddy has my daddy's birthday. Oh, Lorraine, September 16th. It is. We're both Virgos, Karen. Tammy says she can't go wait to go racing with you. I can't either. Um, how long have you been flying, says Debbie Stoltenberg? Uh, 12, 15 years. Yeah, crazy. 12, 15 years. I would never go up there again. Just saying. That's probably the most thing that gets he gets irritated with is that I don't like to fly, but can't do it. What dish do you prayer that makes him happiest? What? what? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Denise, that's funny considering the fact that I hate to cook. What dish do you prepare that makes him the happiest? Toast. <laughs> <laughs> Toast. I hate to cook. All right. I'm so blessed that this man likes to cook. I can make some stuff. I Toast. do. I, no, I make your broccolini with yeah. the with the artichokes. Yeah. I do do some things, but no, I I really hate to cook. Uh, really hate it. Thank you, Elizabeth. You are supposed to be. It means you. Oh, we had a good time. Does he think you look like Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes when he, we're laying in bed and I'll get in and I'll be like, hey, and he's like, oh my God, you look so much like my girl, Jennifer. Sometimes he'll call me Jennifer. Um, What's his horoscope? He's a Virgo. We're both Virgos. He's September 16th. I'm September 9th. So we're both Virgos. Uh, 46 years, married 43. That's amazing. We only just hit our third. What's that? What was it? We are both Virgos. Yes. Give him a break. He's tired, says Patty. <laughs> uh, can you do a Tom Cruise impersonation? I mm. can't do any impersonations tonight. I'm just, I got nothing left. Right, Debbie? I totally agree with you. Married your second hub's first. I would have been a happier camper. But I can't regret my first marriage either. I have my boys, just like his. Why are you so tired, Mike? Sandy, we were up late last night a at wedding. a wedding. Yeah, we were out late. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, We've been together know. since 2016, Kim. 2016. Um, it's a very loud movie. You will not sleep through it for sure. Okay, good. Everybody's saying that it's a loud movie. Hey, Karen. God has definitely blessed us for sure. Was Big Daddy in a toxic relationship before you with the children's mom? Oh boy, let's not talk about that online. I don't know if it was toxic. Yeah, you we know, we were just weren't we weren't happy. I wasn't happy in my first marriage. Not saying anything against the kids' dads, but just wasn't. No, it, you know, was, it was toxic. Right. No, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, All right, it was bad. <laughs> That's why the kids live with me. Does he ever think you make too much stuff? Do I really need to answer that one, Peggy? No. He likes what I make um, as long as it doesn't like... Um, clutter. It, as long as it doesn't like clutter up the house, which it does. For the most part, it's in my room. But I do like to decorate, so I do have a lot of stuff out everywhere. But he loves what I make. Um, we are not Scientologists. No. It is impossible Christians. to be Christians. a quiet Italian family. We are... No, I'm not kidding. Miriam, he's in a, a quiet Italian family. It's the craziest thing ever. ever. Quietest. In the, mostly in the morning or, or at night. Okay. Tom Cruise is a little strange with his thinking. Michael will right. love this film since he races. Um, oh, we're, I must be really behind in comments. 
Michael, send me that picture in a text, please, says Rhonda. Hell to the no. Oh, no. She was passed <laughs> out. No. <laughs> That's it. No. Yeah, you cannot say that. You can't say that? No. Can... No. Why? Stop. He's so. No. Oh, my God. He's so funny. I'm very good dresser. Who picks his clothes out? He does. He's a very good dresser. It's one of the things that drew me to him because he, he has nice jeans. Um, he is handsome. All right. Oh, Penny is sick. September 16th, too. Please fly me to Oahu, says Rhonda. Uh, hey, Suzanne. Uh, no, I will not fly with him again. Can't do it. I don't like to fly anyway, and flying in smaller planes. You would fly if I, if you had to go somewhere, uh, some kind of sparkle sh stuff, and you would go. <laughs> In a minute, you would go. Oh, if I don't you had know. to do it crafting, you would go. <laughs> in a minute, you'd be jumping in there. Let's go. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I make a mean bowl of cereal, according to my husband. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes, I can make a mean bowl of cereal yeah. for sure. Right, I do make the house pretty. Um, all right, let me see. I think I got to fly forward. I think our movie's about to start. What time is it? Nine. Oh, we're good. Hold on. You are so much more beautiful. Oh, thank you, Donna. He's off the spaceship. Yeah, he calls it my creative color. My, no, my creative clutter. Clutter. Yeah. Rhonda says, you better. I totally did pass out, Shelly. I was so tired. I was a little imbibed. <laughs> Shelly's like, more info, please. No. No. No, you don't. <laughs> it's not that great. Passed out on the bed. I could say no clothes on. <laughs> He's so bad. Just zip it, McFly. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um... Oh my God, Carol, the tragedy in Texas where the convict shot the girlfriend for is my sister-in-law's best friend. Oh my God, Carol, that's horrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. As Shelly says, tell it like it was. Yeah, you saw us singing on the way home from the wedding. I need to do it. I know when I said that to Michael, I'm like, people, I'm like, my chicks want to see us on an Instagram story 24-7 from the time I wake up. I got to get better at that, guys. You got to tell me. Give it to me. I'm just more of like an introvert. And I think nobody wants to know my life from the time I wake up. But uh, seriously. Oh, it's a crazy house. It's I have so much. Con I don't need house. content. I just have to strap a GoPro to my head. It's a crazy and my house. whole life is funny. Donna, we're going to see um, Top, Gun. Top Gun. What was the worst fight y'all ever had? We've never fought. We've never fought. No. He We get mad. Like, he frustrates me sometimes. He gets on my nerves. I don't know if I've like ever gotten on his nose. I come home and I see uh, stuff in the laundry room. Oh, I... shoes in the laundry room. And I'll be like, all right, Mike. Well, that's because there's an army in the house. But that's why I tell right? him. So when there's shoes, it's just one or two pairs. Okay. <laughs> right. There's an army always in the house. <laughs> um, they call you an ornery twinkle. Um, mm. Somebody asked something. What was the worst fight you ever had? Um, do all the children live with you? Yes, all our kids live with us. Well, his oldest son moved out, bought his own house, got married, had a baby, so they live on their own, but everybody else does, yes. Keep talking, Michael. Nosy minds need to know, says Shelly. <laughs> no, you don't need to know, Shelly Stacklin. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to have to start to strap a GoPro to my head. All right, so we're going in here, guys. We're going to go watch... Uh, um, Grab the keys. Are the keys from my purse? Top Gun. Um, I will let you know. Maybe I'll do some stories from inside the movie theater. Why do you still have your seatbelt? I don't know. I was sitting in the parking lot. I just still had it on. I just took it off. We're parked. We've been parked for a minute. Um, and Lorraine, sadly, no, my cardinal has not been around for about two weeks now. I'm so sad. It's not been around. Um, so I don't know where it's at. It kind of makes me sad. Iced tea right here, chicks. Iced tea. Mm. It's in my purse. So anyway, we're going to walk in here. We do attend church, Brenda. We go to an amazing church. Wait, I can lock the car. So yes, we are. We go to church. Yes, they're in my purse. We go to church. 
You have to get Big Daddy talking. I'm so tired, mate. I'm so tired. Oh, there's a note put snap. It's right there. So tired, eh? so tired, eh? <laughs> well, we are going to love the movie for sure. Um, I'm looking forward to it. You will get in trouble if you turn your phone on. Oh, all right. Well, I will let you guys know tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we're working in the yard. Uh, what do we have going on tomorrow? I don't know. I thought I had something on my calendar tomorrow, but I don't remember. Uh, oh, my live sale tomorrow, guys. Live sale uh, tomorrow, 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Brittany's coming over about 1, so live sale tomorrow, guys, 3 o'clock. And then don't forget, we also have tickets up for the Sparkle Conference in October. You can find that um, on the website, sparkleroomevents.com. It's going to be epic, and tickets are going fast. So make sure you guys get your tickets, and all VIP tickets have already been sold out. But we'd love to have you. It's going to be an epic time. Um, you guys have a great evening. I'm so glad I got to chat with you guys for a while. And yes, we're going to see Top Gun. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern for my next live sale of Funky Junk. Love you guys. Stay sparkly. Bye.